Good morning everybody. I hope and expect that you are well all. Alhamdulillah, I'm fine. Today we are going to start from Surah Ikhlas. Surah Ikhlas belongs to 13 number para i mean 30th number para section 30 and this is very much important surah regarding the acquaintance of allah the exalted now let's start from surah class from its introduction uh, I'd like to give you a reminder that you need to take your copy and pen to note down something important from the lesson. So don't forget to do that. And let's get started. Surah Ikhlas is the 112th Surah, I mean 112th Surah of Al-Quran. It has four verses. The surah was revealed in the sacred city Makkah. The surah has many benefits. The great prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "The surah is equal to the one third of the whole Quran, and this hadith belongs to Sahih Bukhari and Sahih Muslim. It's a Sahih hadith." In another hadith, it is told that a man came to Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and said, The Messenger of Allah, I like this surah very much. Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam replied, Your love for this surah will take you to the heaven or Jannah. Subhanallah. So this hadith also belongs to Tirmizi, one of the Sui books of hadith. But here we get some information. Let's note down them. First of all, what is the serial number of Surah Ikhlas? Or what is the sequence number of Surah Ikhlas? In the Holy Quran, its sequence number is 112. Secondly, how many verses are there in Surah Ikhlas? Answer would be four verses. Thirdly, where was Surah Al Ikhlas revealed? The answer would be. In Makkah, so please note down this. And another important things: which surah bears the value of one third of the Holy Quran, or the one third reward, equal reward of reciting Holy Quran? Answer would be Surah Ikhlas. I mean, if we recite Surah Ikhlas, then we will get the equal re reward of on third recitation of Holy Quran. So that is very much important. Boys, now the background. I mean, This is the cause of revelation or the reason of revelation. Once the mushriks asked the great Prophet وسلم, about Allah's family, 
Allah revealed this surah as a reply to their question. I mean, whenever they asked about Allah's family, then Allah let them know instantly that Allah has actually does not know any practical family, but all the world is his family. But he has no, not any particular person like human being. And he has described it, we shall see very soon. It is described elsewhere that the Muttakis also asked, What is Allah made of? Gold, silver or something else? Allah has revealed this surah and he described his acquaintance uh, against the mushrik's uh, question. So as per mushrik's asked what is Allah made of gold, silver or something else. So Allah has answered their question. We shall see this. But here are some words. Word meaning. Please write down this meaning on your script with Arabic. Kul means tell who are he. Ahadun one second to none. Asomat independent or self-dependent. Lam yalit he did not give birth to anybody. Lam yulat neither he was born. Kufuan equivalent similar or equal now the translation a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem bismillahir rahmanir rahim qul huwallahu ahad allahu samad lam yalid wa lam yulad wa lam yakul lahu kufuwan ahad sadaqallahu alazim this is the recitation and now I'd like to read the meaning of this surah or the translation. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, say, O Muhammad, He is Allah, one and second to none. Allah, the eternal absolute, He neither begets nor is born and there is none who equal to him so this is the clearance of Allah's entity and it was very conspicuous before the mushriks and a clear answer against their question and till now all over the world this surah actually about the acquaintance of Allah the Exalted and we get its clearance and also we get benefits by reciting this surah. So thanks very much boys for joining this class and do or act upon my orders or suggestion. Don't waste your time. Thanks very much.